Who is God to you? He, he is my everything. He is my, he is the one who I trust like with everything, with my, my entire life. Um, he is the love of my life. <laughs> You know, outside of my, he's the 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 top love of my life. Um, um, I couldn't, I wouldn't be who I am without him. He is my creator. Um, he is my wisdom. Like everything that I am is because of God, and He is so loving, and His favor is just. It's just amazing. It, it's beyond words, really. Yeah, it really is. It really <laughs> it's, is. It's, it's not like describing a person. I could say, and my parents are the love of my life, right? But God is just on a whole nother level. Another level. It's like it's, this feeling that you get in, in, right, in the spirit. Right, that's in the soul. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. like this shift that's even happening, like with the rise of women and this movement that I'm helping to lead. And for God to like put that in in me and to feel it in my bones, like people don't understand unless you've experienced like God for yourself, like you you don't you don't even know. So you have to mm-hmm. have to try to articulate it. Um, but to, for Him to like be with just in me, and that I am a daughter in the kingdom of God, and that. I am sent here to be a light in the world and to bring his kingdom on earth. That's a powerful thing. It's a amazing thing. It's a miraculous thing. It's an empowering thing. Something that powers me, put powers me forward at those times that I want to give up. So he he's my my everything. I think God uh, as the originator of all things, the mm-hmm. beginning and the end, the 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 entity, the spirit, the energy that is in all places at all times, mm-hmm. and that created itself and maintains itself and manifests itself in the infinite amount of things that we understand and and don't in the universe in the multiverse. Powerful. Uh, I, I particularly connect to language that understands that being that also connects to our ancestral lineages mm-hmm. uh, so I spend a lot of time trying to trying to learn what we refer to as God and how we conceptualize that being before enslavement um, on the continent for millennia so we had to have half some ideas even before a bible was created mm-hmm. uh, a lot of work to, to go back and to study and reconnect those those languages those concepts um, and try to think about how to apply those things to our present day modern circumstances God is my protector God is someone who who sees and probably understands what I don't Mm -hmm. Um, he's there um, for me even when I didn't even think he was there Mm -hmm. and that's someone you know who, who protects and cherishes the life that I'm walking who's you know been by my side even when I probably wasn't even by his <laughs> um but right now me and God have a, a really close relationship we have our own relationship um just to kind of you know talk um to say something about that that a lot of times we think if we don't go to church or, um, you know, do something that the community, you know, that the world would tell you to do in order for you to have a relationship with God, you know, that you have to do that. Yeah. But me, I, I was insecure because I wasn't getting up, you know, going to church and Bible studies. But when I, you know, when my son was gone, I, I developed my own relationship. So I pray every day. Um, I make it a habit to say thank you for waking me up in the morning thank you for a new day and you know just under you know right, right now he, he he's really my protector and um you know he protects me from he can't protect me from everything but he can guide me into certain directions 
So God is um, the creator of heaven and earth. He is the, the, my personal creator. Um, he's my comforter. He's wisdom. He's strength. He's love. Um, and and I know these words may sound a little kind of, uh, I don't even know the word to describe it, but, but they are my experience of him. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I referenced before just really knowing his character and I can, I can chuckle at it now, but when I first got saved, you know, reading the Bible, if you start from the beginning, the Old Testament, all I saw was wrath and people dying <laughs> yeah. and all it and, 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 you know, it was like, well, what did I get myself into? Like I had, I had a, per I had a personal spiritual experience, so I knew he was real. Exactly. He is real. But, but reading that book, I was like, he don't stand like a nice person That's so right. I went through um, a time really learning his character when he revealed himself as father and I write about that in my book when he revealed himself as my comforter when he revealed himself as my wisdom um, and, and there's a whole other laundry list of words I could put out there and a whole other laundry list mm -hmm. that I have yet to discover about him but um, you know, I don't want to sound cliche and say he's my everything, but man, I tell you, learning about him and who he really is really has helped establish me as the woman that I am today. Like, who is God to you? Everything. Um, he's everything. I think that uh, that's the best way I can put it. Uh, I think that he's real. Um, there is no doubt there, uh, and 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 that's honestly what what I would say because it, that's just it. You know, he's real and he's he's everything and he's everywhere, and he has you and he's he's faith. You know, so just believe. You know, I just believe. So regardless of a uh, religion, you know, um, just there's God you know what I'm saying so mm -hmm. I just believe in God and I just think he's real and he's everything and last but not least uh, who is God to you um uh, what's the best way to say um God is like um this is an analogy that I just came up with on the fly so I hope it makes sense <laughs> um so God to me is like the GPS in the car that I'm driving. Mm. So like, I know where I want to go. I have an idea of where I want to go. And I may actually have like all the directions in my head, exactly how to get there. But God is the one that's like going to tell me, going to remind me of like where I need to make a left turn, how long I need to stay on this road. Um, maybe give me a suggestion on the shortest route so that I can avoid traffic. Mm, um, mm, mm. So yeah, so God is like, God is my GPS. So God for me is, you know, my savior, my redeemer, my healer, my provider. <laughs> Everything that I need him to be when people fail me, um, I turn to him. Sometimes I wait too long to do that because obviously I, I should always be turned to him. But let's be real. Mm -hmm. um, in my humanity and sometimes, you know, feeling myself, <laughs> I forget that God is God. <laughs> um, yeah. But, you know, I, I choose to believe that he is um, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And um, I've decided and determined that I will seek him. Um, and, you know, he has he has not let me fail. <laughs> we go back to that, he has not let me fail. I've had challenges without a doubt, um, but I've always come out on top, always. And, you know, I believe that that is due to my faith um, and, you know, just, I think the resiliency that develops from faith and having faith and exercising your faith. So, yeah, that's who God is to me. Mm -hmm. 
God is he's he's everything. <laughs> uh, he's he's everywhere. Uh, he's he's right here in, in, in my living room, and he always guiding me, guiding my footsteps. Uh, he's a spiritual being. He's the creator of all. And I love, he said that I am that I am. I am that and I am. Yes, I, I don't know what it is, but he has put in my heart to, to, to help people to find that, who are you? You know, and because he's the creator and he sent us down here for a reason. Yes. Uh, not for all this craziness that you see in the world. But but God, he, he's amazing. Yes. He's everything. He's everything. <laughs> everything and everywhere. Yeah. God is my savior and he's my best friend. Your God savior. saved my life. Yeah. He's with me at all times. I feel like I can talk to him. He saved me. I told you about him getting me out of that bed. I made a deal with God. We're in partnership together. You know, people think just because I'm an astrologer that I don't believe in God. No, me and God know each other intimately. Exactly. He's my best friend. I talk to him at all times. He never leaves me and he's a part of me at all times. And so I, I, I know, you know, some people are like, God is a female. You know, I'm not into all that. I just right. know that whatever that God essence is, that higher power, it is so strong in me right now. Yeah. Because I'm constantly talking to it and thinking it and like, guide me. Where, where would you want me to go? What is it that you want me to do? What am I missing here? I ask my inner voice that, you know, the God voice all the time. What is it you would have me to do? Lead me where you want me to go. Tell me what it is you want me to do, and I will do that. Yeah. Having that open, you know, willingness to do what it's going to take um, to get where you got to go or wherever God or wherever that inner voice is sending you. Yeah. That is vital. Get in yes. touch with yourself. Yeah. Sometimes you have to do the meditation to get to that point where you're in that kind of alignment with yourself. But once you're in that, Man, it's almost like you feel hugged by him. God is um un all knowing and uh all powerful and um the person that you have to submit to in order to really get anything in life. Um mm -hmm. if you don't recognize in life that there's a higher power, then I don't think that you will be able to accomplish much in yourself. Because um there's certain things that as a human you won't be able to do. Mm -hmm. So if you're not able to recognize that there's a, a higher being, then you always will struggle. And um, you'll feel weak and powerless if you think that you're the highest person in the universe. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, to me, it's definitely a belief in God or God is essential to, to human life. If you don't have that, then you'll always be disappointed, I feel. Wow. God is everything to me. Um, he is my sustainer and he loves me. It's amazing. He loves me more than anybody else on this earth. So I never have to feel that no one loves me, that no one cares for me, that no one understands me um, because I know he loves me. Mm. And next to my mother, who is deceased now, you know, got, he's got me. You know, he's everything to me. I can talk to him about anything at any time, anywhere. He knows my shortcomings, my faults, and he still loves me. So I just think, you know, he's, he's everything. He's, he's, he's my lover. You know, I love him the way he loves me. And I can't imagine... I know before I grew to know him for myself, I would have this emptiness in my soul, you know, to, and I tried to fill it with material things. And now that I know I don't have to do that anymore, I think we all have that hole in us and we need, you know, they, they say we, we, we all need something or someone to love and worship mm -hmm. who we feel will love us back. So God takes that role in my life. He's my everything. You know, if if another person on this earth didn't love or care for me, I'd still feel loved because I know God loves me. Yeah. Uh, 
got it in. Oof. The first thing that came to my head was love. Um, God is my friend. God is my protector. Um, God is, God is the expansive, unlimited amazingness that I get to participate in. God is the creator, the omnipotent creator of all life, of all men, animals, and the world and the universe. He is the all creator of all to me. And he is an awesome force. And he is a force not to be reckoned with. Mm-hmm. And he is my heavenly and my really you know I have an earthly father and I had an earthly father and that was my dad in physical form but he is my almighty father okay that's who he is to me yeah I can talk to him when I need to talk to him if I need him I can just say God I need to talk to you he is everything to me and the reason that I live and it, you know, some we all live is everything to me. Who is God to you? Oh my goodness. Who is God to me? Who Yahweh is everything. <laughs> everything. Like that such sum it up. And that's all that's he's it. always been everything to me. <laughs> Even when I wasn't, even when I didn't even want to be bothered of that, <laughs> even when sometimes my faith is low, he's been everything, everything that I've ever been through in my life. He's walked with me. He's talked with me. He's covered me. He's protected me. He's led me. He's guided me. He's made ways out of no ways. He's been in every valley situation. Yes. He's been on every mountain top with me. So mm. wherever I am, he is. So God has been my everything. Everything. I, I stand on that. That's that's it. That's all. That's all I can say is he is everything. And that's it. Everything to me. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Period, Pooh. Period. Period, Pooh. <laughs> Period. Yahweh. This God is creator. He's a spirit. Um, he's my heavenly father. He's who I live for. Um, and I love him. I'm learning, to, I'm learning how to love him more each and every day. Powerful. Powerful. Thanks for sharing those with me.